So I'm Baruška. I come from Czech Republic and I was born in a Christian family. I get used to go to the church every Sunday and I get the education from my parents and uh, I can say everything uh, began there because I believed in the God. When I graduated secondary school I started uh, singing. I started to study singing in conservatory for six years and after I graduated there I worked as a teacher in music school. I was working with children since six years old till 15 and after that I came to abroad. I worked as a volunteer and then uh, nowadays, I'm working as a nurse in a retirement house. The first time when I met uh, with Islam was 11 September 2001. I didn't have any information about it. I just heard that word for many times in TV. Uh, that's it. Then when I was 17, uh, I went to Morocco for vacation with my family and it was the first time when I met personally with Muslim people and I learned that uh, they are normal uh, like us and there is no worries. Then I wasn't interested with Islam at all. I just... Um, I was sure that uh, they have their own religion, I have mine, but in the same time I was searching myself. Um, I didn't agree with uh, Christianity, with uh, their opinions, with the way what they follow, um, but I was sure that I believe in God that time. And then, uh, when I was more than 20, around my 24th year, I started to hang out with foreigners thanks to Erasmus Plus projects. And I met uh, more Muslims around me. And the time I started basic conversations about that topic, we started to compare Christianity with Islam and I get my first education there and I uh, seriously started to think about that I should, maybe I should start read Quran, I should uh, learn more about that. Maybe you wouldn't believe me, <coughs> but when I was 11, I had a dream and I saw myself uh, in the dream and group of people coming in front of me uh, and the first person is a man and I cannot uh, look into his eyes uh, to his face I cannot recognize because it's shining that much I cannot understand what's going on but women are close heads and they giving me uh, the same clothes and asking me if I want to be the same with them and I immediately accepted. I felt like I want to be part of something that much beautiful. And that time uh, the man said the sentences and I should repeat. And when I uh, study uh, Shahadat uh, before I revert Islam, I remember that moment and I remember I had a dream about my shahadat. How is that possible? It was one of the first signs, what I remember in my life. Then um, when I was in university with my friends, I just hang out normally in the room and I needed charger. I asked my friend, can you, do you have some charger? Can you bring me? that charger and he left to his room and he came with the book and with charger and he said to me uh, my old roommate forget 
forgot that stuff in my room, do you want it? And I look and it's Quran. And that time I didn't have any mm, feelings, some positive feelings to Islam, but I saw the book is a little bit burnt and I felt mm, ashamed why somebody did it to the book and I keep it and I still have that book with myself. Then I lived in a home with roommates, they had Quran in the home. I never read it, but every time it was coming to my eyes. In the beginning I was a little bit angry to myself, why I didn't see the truth <laughs> earlier now, how I told you before. Um, I believe that everything has the true time and uh, I just wasn't ready that time. Maybe if I read Quran earlier, uh, I wouldn't understand it. I wouldn't, it wouldn't affect me in that way, in a good way. Sometimes people ask me uh, if it was hard for me to uh, change, com completely change the religion. And I can say yes, also no. Uh, the biggest fight was inside of me for a few weeks, the first weeks. I wasn't sure if I follow good way. I, I was so much confused. Many, many things happened inside of me. Uh, I felt in my heart uh, there is Allah, but I was growing up in a Christian society. So changing religion is something really bad. And then when I become more sure what is the true thing for me, because I keep going on reading Quran, then everything was easy, I can say. It wasn't that much big change for me. Mm. I think the religions are so much similar, based on similar things. Uh, so uh, I live still same. I just uh, find what more fits to my life. I didn't have to. I didn't have to sacrifice something in my life for for changing. The breaking point was when I burned out inside of me. I was completely down. Um, I was searching some support. Um, I couldn't get it from people. So I searched it in, uh, in religion. And I was aware about it. I believe in God, but I didn't feel uh, the God in my heart and uh, when I get lost completely even more I needed to feel uh, the God inside of my heart and that time when I was completely lost um, we opened it, the, the topic about uh, Islam and Christianity we started to talk uh, about that uh, religions and when I get the first information about Islam, something, um, it's something burned inside of me, some passion, some interest and I follow that interest and um, it, I felt that I should read Quran what I mentioned before. And the breaking point was uh, that I listened that voice inside of me, I read the Quran, and with first words, Al-Fatiha, I believe. 